Welcome back. Today, as we all already know what happened to this under construction 30-story high-rise building in Thailand that collapsed during the strong 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake uh, generated from Myanmar. It is a very, very sorry day and I hope they will be able to recover more alive workers from this building. My heart goes on to the families of the gun departed on this eventful tragedy day on the 28th of March 2025. So what we're going to do now is we will try to find out, review what could have caused the collapse of this building. At the left side is the building under construction. I was initially suspecting these tall slender columns at the perimeter of these buildings which could have caused the collapse. But later on after reviewing some more uh, video footage taken from different vantage point of the building we now found more or less what was the reason that caused collapse of this building let me show you one video footage taken from the different vantage point we have a video here taken from this side see what is happening take a look at that it collapsed so it is now more evident that the collapse started on the back side where the tower crane is positioned. And let's look another uh, vantage point on the other side of that building. Now this is the view taken from the other side of the building. See the water, see the water is already shaking less. It's just an after, maybe because of the aftershocks only. But I am now very much looking at that tower crane. Look at the tower crane hook block. Oh, swinging wildly on the air. The oscillation of the crane uh, sling cables, look at that. See the sling cables oscillating wildly, swaying wildly. The building doesn't seem to be shaking, does not seem to be shaking that much. But why did it collapse? Now I will see that the collapse started from this side where the tower crane is located. Now let's take a look at the floor plan of this building that we had gathered from social media. Again, as we are looking into this floor framing plan that we had gathered from social media sharing, we are looking at these uh, columns at the front, six numbers, and they appear to be two levels or at least three level high open unsupported columns. So we can consider this as a tall slender columns. Initially, I was uh, suspecting that these columns, you can see here, are the one that causes the collapse of the buildings. But as I dig further and after viewing, looking at the videos on two different sides of the building showing the collapse of this building, the tower crane at the top collapses together with the building. But in this, in this angle view, I am not yet uh, conclusive on what I had observed. But on the other side, let me show you why I made it more conclusive. Have a look on this. See, tower crane, as we can see, is inside the building. Correct? It's not outside. It's very obvious. The tower crane is inside the building. If we go back to the floor plan again, we can say the tower crane is standing somewhere in this zone. Most probably in this middle area. There are beams here here so most probably the crane is standing in between these beams that's one case by the way tower cranes are usually self-standing at outside the building tower cranes are usually self-standing outside the building this tower crane this is the mast mast is the vertical member leg this is usually braced to the side of the building stable and it will not collapse Usually there will be a series of uh, lateral bracing like in this level. It should be the usual case if the tower crane is standing outside. But again, as I am saying, this tower crane is obviously not standing outside. So definitely it is standing inside the building. And most probably the location of that tower crane mast will be somewhere in this area. Just near the edge of this building. It can be here. It can be here. Or most probably it be here. So first thing is if the tower crane is, is standing inside the building the best scenario is the tower crane must be standing on its foundation at the ground. Let me show you the video again. I can say the building is not swaying. Seems like standing is not swaying much on against the earthquake. But why did it collapse? Look closely. Ah look at that. The collapse happened on this side where the tower crane is standing and that is uh, why we were able to conclude now that what could have caused the collapse of this building saying the tower crane probably will be standing in this zone if the tower crane as we are saying 
is uh, pre-standing with his own mast standing on the ground so it's now more clear we can see that the building is not swaying much but the tower crane is swaying wildly now see it is oscillating back and forth together with its boom seems like it has resonated with the generated uh, amplification of the building and uh, there you go it collapsed the tower crane goes down with the building again assuming the tower crane is standing in the zone one scenario is the tower crane have its own mast vertical leg vertical member standing from the ground and during the oscillation that we have seen that mast might have been hitting these members and continuous oscillation uh, swaying back and forth one or two of these members might have snapped and then with that snapping action the building lost its uh, strength on this location but the worst thing i am now thinking is what if that tower crane is just sitting on the upper levels, let's say five or more uh, levels. The mass is now shorter, it is sitting on some levels only, meaning while the crane is now oscillating back and forth, it weakens whatever is carrying that crane. Until suddenly, the supporting mechanism, the framing is not able to control, to carry any more the vibration, the bouncing back and forth of the crane then it snap it collapse and because of that collapse the weight of the crane and together of the weakening of these zones created a domino crushing effect the slabs got snapped on this connection and then what you have seen is the like a controlled demolition effects like a bomb you put bomb on the lower legs the walls and then you initiate detonation and it collapses like that it's what is usually happening on a controlled demolition building demolition so this zone collapses pulling everything down with it and what we have seen is history now so now that is how we conclude that what causes the collapse of this building i was mistaken initially i thought the collapse came from these tall slender columns but seeing the videos i am now more convinced that the collapse happened because of the failure of the support mechanism carrying the tower crane the weight of the tower crane plus the dynamic vibration the swaying back and forth of it created the failure on this zone and then this zone crashes together as we can see in the video i will show you once again the collapses started on this side where the tower crane is located collapses on this side and here is everything with it and that's it that is how we're concluding how this building collapse it's a bad thing maybe the designers overlook this catastrophic event because uh, as they are saying in thailand they are seldom experiencing such large earthquake event so out of complacency or out of lack of experience and knowledge this type of scenario during the construction part was overlooked or totally not considered like the collapse of the tower crane causing the building to fall down and we're going to conclude from here our heart goes to the casualties of this sad sad catastrophic event thank you for watching god bless you all have a safe day everybody god bless